Well, that's the high beams. Side lights, high beams, high beams. Right, well I'm not sure how effective this will be, but as you can see, I'm out in the car, parked in a car park on a hill overlooking the local town, probably about a 45 degree. Um, so I'm yeah, waiting for these cars to go by. Um, parked at the top of the car park with my normal main headlights on. And I've just been out for a drive around the uh, country road for Beachy Head. Oh, look, there's a blooming car coming in now. Uh, hopefully he goes back out. No, he's just going to park up. What a twat. Right. Do we blind him? <laughs> or do we find a different location? Oh, this is a nightmare. Um... Fuck it, let's put them on. Ready? In my normal headlights. And then the new ones. As you can see they light up all the way to the end of there. And they light up all the trees up the side. Which you can't see because the camera doesn't really pick it up. Oh, there's a car coming. Normal headlights. So yeah, the, the wide, they've got spots on the middle. The middle two lots of six LEDs are spots. And the outer six LED lights is two of them, one on each side, they're flood. So the flood illuminates everything around you to the sides. And outside my house, like all the buildings lit up white. So the two center groups of light are spots, and then the two groups either side, one on either side of flood. And they look like this. As you can see, they're quite low down at the front of the car. They'd be more effective on the roof, but, um, zoom in yeah all those trees up there are lit up but my phone's not really picking it up right I better turn them off before I blind that car and we'll do another test around the corner going up a hill through like a tunnel of trees right just on a little back road I've got the phone on the uh, dashboard mount now um, so these are my normal headlights normal conditions with street lights, average sort of side road, back road in the UK. Um, not fantastically lit up but not, not totally dark. There's a moment up here where the road does go completely black. I think there's a few lights missing. There you go, complete darkness just there. And then you're solely relying on headlights. Um, shortly we're turning left to go up a hill and the hill's got trees both sides so I'm hoping the new headlights will be a vast improvement uh, and more visible um, going up this next road. Here it is. Well, let's start by brightening this car up. There we go. Right, tiny little road, that's the last street light, and I've got a 15 year old car, and that's why I bought these lights, because my headlights are crap, they've got that orange yellowy glow to them, they're not actually bright, they just illuminate everything like a bit yellowy, there are other headlights and bulbs I could have bought and changed over for, 
but um, there's so many on the market. I've seen some flickering, these LED bulbs, and uh, what it is is they haven't got enough amps going to them, so they just flicker. A lot of people think they're too bright, so they end up flashing at you because they think you've got your four beams on. Right, so these are my normal headlights. Now let's try the new ones. How's that? Normal headlights. New ones. Again, they'd be much more effective if you are buying these. I recommend you shove them up on the roof. Get a roof rack, um, and it'd be much more effective if you'll see further. Um, I've got mine low down just below the number plate. And um, they're not as effective as they could be on the roof. But I've got amber flashing lights on the roof rack. And um, for safety reasons, I'd rather have the amber safety lights higher up and more visible than uh, this LED bar. But I mean, that's off. And that's on. And um, you know, that's lighting all the trees up above me, to the side of me. And normally the headlights just protrude forward and illuminate what's in front of you. But if we turn these on, the camera's not picking it up, but you know, everything to the side of me is illuminated. Um, it's just a shame they're so low down. But um, you know, as I say, I'd rather um, keep my amber ones up nice and high. I don't want to blind this chap on the bike, so we're just going to crawl past him. There's some trees here. There they are. Look at that. That's obviously with the lights on. Make sure there's no one in the car park. Two cars. Got the lights on dipped. Just my normal headlights. Oh, I don't want to come into a car park and I'll start like flashing my lights. Let's drive up here. All right, we're overlooking a lower car park and some trees with my normal headlights on. And there's a car in front is about to be blinded. Yeah, see, they're a lot brighter. Well, I'm gonna get out of it because I don't want to keep blinding people. But the same bloke on the bike, Jesus. Right, let's go down the hill. This is why I need a new back box and I keep bottoming out. I keep coming places like this and absolutely trashing my van. I need to get something four wheel drive. The pot I was here eat my entire wheels. Okay, turn the camera off at the bottom of here and it'll be the end of the review. Um, some pictures at the beginning, I think. I don't know. I might add some dash cam footage. Actually, no, I won't because the dash cam's crap. That's my normal headlights. Bang! The new light bar. 72 watt, 24 LED, 12 inch long. Um, I've got a 10 amp inline fuse on the positive and the negative feed. Uh, and I've just literally tapped into the normal headlights for power when I put my full beams on. These come on with my full beams, but you can see what's full beam and what's LED bar, because again, the four beams are a hint of yellowy orange, and the LED bar is white light. So there's more white light now in front of me than there is orangey, yellowy, brown. Um, yeah, literally five minute job. Whacked them on there, bolted them all on. Use a block connector, wrapped up in a sandwich bag. Top and bottom, black tape. Um, good enough waterproof seal for me. I would say I don't do any serious off-roading, but I mean, I like going through water in cars, like up to the door handles, and I'll take a car through mud, snow, flood. I, I you know, I generally do take my cars where I shouldn't take them. But, um, <coughs> yeah, these lights are definitely effective. I'd love to just blind these two people, but I don't think I will. That would just be mean. There you go, suburbia with a street light. Headlights off. So, right, that's it. That's the end of it. I'm waffling on now, but you've seen them. They're £17 and a bit on eBay. The chrome metal LED bar that I mounted them to was £14 and a bit. So, for literally just a few quid. 
I've got some seriously effective lights. I like them. Anyway, I'm Wow Sly. Thanks for watching my LED light bar video. Sorry it was an unimpressive 12 inch LED light. But the next one up, I'm gonna do it an 18 inch. Um, would have overlapped on the light bar bracket thing I got. And I like these because they sort of s s sit and hide quite subtly underneath the uh, the light bar um, the bracket, the chrome thing, whatever it's called. Uh, but both, yeah, both good items. I'll do. All right, one more time before the main road. Pow! All right. <laughs> Catch and leave. Oh, wait, some trees there. Wait for this car to go, and then we'll do it again. I'm, I'm getting to enjoy this quite a bit, really. All right, trees in front. Pow! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go home. Thanks for watching. Ta da!